today is February the 21st, 2-21, and our title is Block 3DM. Block 3DM. Okay, let's get going here. Okay, looks like I've got some space right up here in the top. Don't forget to put the date in the corner so I know what day this is from. And let's get started. So we're going to start from the top and we're going to work our way down. I'm going to do two dots, one on each side, find the middle. You're going to come above just a little and below just a little. And when you connect these together, like a little connect the dot, what you're going to have is like a squash diamond. Okay, what looks like a squash diamond. This is a four shortened square. It means it's tilting away from you or towards you. Okay, now I'm going to bring down the left side and the right side. These should come straight down and these should be equal in length. The middle should come down straight and it should be just a little bit longer than the other two. Okay, if you're not sure, just line your pencil up. I can see right away. That's plenty long. This angle right here. This angle right here. Okay, now let's pull out the parts of the M. And how we're going to do that is we're going to start with a line here. Follow this straight line and a line right about here. Okay, in the middle we're going to make a V just like that. Okay, now the top is going to do the same thing, except when you do the top, you're going to come over, kind of see where it's at, because you're going to follow this angle here and this angle here, just like that. Okay. Now we've only got to bring it back in about four spots. And where we need to bring it back is right here. So we're going to angle this angle like this. Okay, same thing right here, and we're going to erase this line right here, and I'm going to go ahead and erase this line back here, because I've got what I need. But something's definitely missing at this point at the top, okay, and what you're missing is what you're going to do with this gap right here. Okay, what you're going to do with that is you're going to follow this line that's coming straight down. And you're just going to pop it right down to there. Okay, pretty easy. So our next step is going to be to erase this bottom part right here and put two more angles in on the bottom. One is going to be right here and it's going to follow this same angle here. Just like that. One more spot is going to be right here and this is going to follow the same angle as this. There you go. Okay, so you've got all your angles in, you've got everything that you need. Now our next steps are just to fill in the shading. Sorry, let me get that over where you can see it. Okay, is to add in the shading. So you're going to shade in three spots basically. Technically four. You're going to start by shading up here and we're just going to do kind of a solid shading Oops, let me move that down so you can see that. We're going to do kind of a solid shading. Not too light, not too dark, kind of in the middle. Okay. Just like that. I'm going to do some right in here, but I'm going to make it a little bit lighter as I go towards this line. Same thing here. I'm going to make this a little dark, but a little bit lighter underneath because I want to see this line right here. I want to see this contrast right inside here. Okay, so I'll make that just a little bit lighter. And then I'm, lastly, I'm going to do just a solid shading all on the left side. Now for me, it's easier to shade very quickly in the middle like this, and then to go back and take it easy right along here to fill it in. Okay, let's get this all filled in. Last thing, we'll add some cast shadows and we'll be done. 
Okay, so the cast shadow is a shadow that comes off of the M. It's going to come this direction. So that means I'm going to have a little bit right inside here because there's a little light in there. Okay, and I'm also going to have some coming off the edge right here. Corner to corner. And make sure it goes all the way up to that edge. Just like that. Okay, and there you have it. There is your block 3DM. So I'd like you to make one of these today. Please make sure you watch your proportion. Try to keep the legs of the M equal. Watch your angles. Okay, if this is going like this, so should this. If this is going like this, so should this. Watch the direction that you're going. Okay, also, please make sure you shade in all the spaces. You've got basically one, two, three, four spaces to shade. And also your cast shadow at the bottom, outside and inside. And please don't forget to erase any lines or marks that you don't need.